Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope this video find everyone doing well and in good spirits. Okay guys, uh, let me tell you what I'll be sharing with you this morning. It is a recipe from my mother. It's called Poking Pan. I don't know where my mother got this recipe from, but she did. Uh, she used to do it, and it was just absolutely delicious. I can't say whether she made it up herself or what. But uh, let me tell you the ingredients of this. In this, uh, uh, I'm going to be using in this recipe, guys. And uh, I uh, probably talk more to you when I get to get to mixing it up. Okay, guys, you're gonna need a one cup of long grain rice just regular rice whatever brand you use I imagine you can use it uh, but you're gonna need one cup of that and I'll tell you more about that when I go when I get uh, ready to mix it up okay you're gonna need two cans of tomato soup there's two cans of tomato soup and then you're gonna need one pound of um ground beef. I got lean ground beef here guys but when my mom used to fix it and I and I first started fixing it uh, preparing this script preparing this uh, uh, dish uh, we used to just use regular ground beef and that we get from Winn-Dixie I don't know whether it was um, the lean or whatever it was just uh, ground beef so um, and then guys you're going to need a uh, I got an onion there, but I'm going to only use half of that onion and half of that uh, bell pepper that normally, normally adds up to a half a cup of each. So you can say a uh, half a cup of onions and a half a cup of uh, green bell pepper. And then guys, behind that I have uh, one egg that I'm going to beat. I'm going to beat that egg before I put it into the mixture. And then I got some Worcestershire sauce <laughs> and I'm going to use about a tablespoon of that and then I got the Laris uh, seasoning salt and I'm going to use about a teaspoon of that then I got some salt uh, we're going to use about a half a teaspoon of salt guys and about a teaspoon of light pepper and then that onion powder over there I'm going to use about a, a teaspoon a couple of teaspoons of that and then maybe about a teaspoon of that uh, granulated uh, garlic. Guys, I never had to really measure, do any measurements on this stuff. I just always sprinkle it out. But I was just trying to give you guys a general idea as to the amount that we use, that I use. And then when you use it, when you use the amounts that I tell you, if you prepare this dish, uh, next time you can know what you need to increase on it. But, um, Guys, I'm going to go off and uh, get my mixing bowl and get ready to mix it up. But uh, let me tell you, with the rice, I'm going to take that cup of rice and put it in some water and rinse it off. I'll probably have that already rinsed and drained. Put your rice in some water and just kind of wa uh, wash some of the starch out. That's part of it. And, uh, and even if you forget to put the rice in the water, Cause I know when I was in the in at home and I have I have did the uh, I mean when I was living with my mother I did it and uh, one time I forgot to uh, uh, rinse the rice <laughs> and I just and I had I said oh my god I had already mixed it into the ground beef I didn't even tell my mom but she was just saying I oh this is really good today baby so either way you go whether you rinse that rice or not it's gonna be good and uh. So like I said, but I'm going to rinse mine. And then uh, I'm going to have the uh, onions and the uh, bell pepper already chopped up. And I probably have all those seasoning and stuff uh, measured out already. And guys, you're going to need to bake. This, here, this recipe will be baked on 325 degrees. And I'm going to use probably about a 9 by 13 uh, baking dish. And I'm going. I will be covering it in foil. Did I say uh, 325? I just want to make sure I said 325. And I normally bake it about uh, 
an uh, hour and 20 minutes to an hour and a half because you got to give the uh, rice time enough to get done. But you'll see how I mix it, guys, and how it turn out and all that stuff. And something I don't have on there, guys, is some parsley. Usually, I mean, I don't have it in the ingredients, but I have it when we come back. I'm going to sprinkle a little parsley on the top. So, guys, uh, when I come back, I'm going to tell you what made me think to uh, share this recipe with you, with you guys. When I come back on and start mixing it up, I maybe let Tuck to you. Okay, guys, I'll be right back when I get my stuff ready to mix up. Okay, guys, I just drained the rice off. You back on, right? Mm -hmm. Thought I heard. I just drained the rice off. And I got the ground beef over here in the bowl. And, uh, all those seasoning that I told you about, I end up putting uh, two teaspoons of onion, uh, granulated onion, and two teaspoons of granulated garlic. And this is the Laurie sauce, it's sauce, I mean Laurie seasoning, and the um, uh, sea salt in here. What I normally do is just go ahead on and sprinkle all my seasoning in, seasoning into the bowl. Now, I didn't, the black pepper wasn't in here. I just do that by I just estimate what I think is enough. <laughs> I don't know how we do. I had to figure out measurements, guys, because I never really kind of did this with the uh, measurements. I, but I just knew what how I put it, how much I put put in it. Then um, I'm just gonna guess at maybe about a tablespoon of this uh. Washes your sauce a little more. Maybe two tablespoons. But I think it was a tablespoon. You don't have to put very much. And then uh, this is the the uh, onions and the uh, green pepper. I end up putting that whole little onion in there because one, you know, just, just say a half a cup of each one of them. Because I used to put a Half a cup of uh, onions and a half a cup of that. What else I need? Then I go ahead on and uh, this is the rice. You know, I told you I rinsed the rice off. I just get it all mixed up in the bowl together, guys. I'm going to mix this some. Um, get it mixed just a little. And then I'm going to go ahead on and pour my beaten egg over in it. Or you can put it all in at one time and just get to working. I'm rinse my hand off just a little bit. I don't know why I keep forgetting this parsley. Yeah, I'm going to sprinkle some of this parsley over here and then I'm going to sprinkle some parsley on that onion. So guys, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to make the poking pan, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead on and finish making them up. Okay, what's the name that you said it is? That dish? Poking pan. <laughs> Tell them how I came by this. <laughs> I mean, why not? I'm making this and sharing it with them. You guys, I, I was telling Mamie, -Mame, one day she was trying to she was sitting there talking to her son think of what the next dish she ought to do. I said, I'll tell you something you do that you you hadn't done. That was an old time dish and we hadn't had it in, in years. And she said, What's that? I said, You remember when you used to make those pokey pines? And she <laughs> said, Yeah, I forgot all about that. I, I said, see. Yeah, I said that's that was let's do do that one. You hadn't done that in a long time and and that would be something, you know, that we hadn't had to eat, uh, well, well, actually been years. Tell me, tell me, yeah. uh, tell me where you, uh, the first time you yeah, ever tried a, had a poker pan that you had never heard of before. But the first time I had a poker pan was back when uh, she and I was dating, back in the mid-70s. Uh, one day, and uh, I went over to, to their house and everything, and uh, they had uh, dinner, cooked and everything. And uh, 
I my ate, mama asked ate de dinner with them. My mama asked me to eat dinner and stuff with them. And I did, and uh, porcupine was one of the uh, things on that we, we had to eat that day. And uh, Hey, I, hold on just a minute. I bet, I, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I bet you can remember it was probably porcupine, cabbage, corn. Because my mama used to remember when you come over, you used to come over for dinner, how she used to have corn with everything. That whole carnival. I don't know why she felt that she had to have corn on there. But I bet you that's what we had, because now we done had it with some of everything, and so as though we have had it here now. Did you tell your story? I'm sorry, she did. Well, that's that's was one of the things that that we had <laughs> that day, and uh, and uh, of course when we uh, uh, got married and everything, Clara continued to 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 make those every once in a while. And but like I said, it's been years. And that's what they called. That's what her, her mother called them, porcupines. I don't know what anyone else even know what that is, or even had it before, or did they call it something different? Cause but, you uh, told me, you told my mom mm -hmm. you had never had one. Yeah, heard of it before. Yeah, I had never heard of what they called a porcupine. Uh, but he fell in know. love with them guys. But uh, obviously, if you see what is made out of and everything like that, you see where the porcupine part come from. Was, <laughs> the, was the rice that was in it? You know. Uh, but anyway, that's that's how we come about uh, uh, talking about possibly doing this this year, sharing this recipe, sharing this recipe right. with you because uh, I remember back then, and it just happened to come to me. I don't know how what made it come to my mind when we was talking. About it was always such a good dish. I don't know why I had thought it. It's some mm -hmm. other dishes that I had thought mm -hmm. that I thought about sharing with them that uh, we hadn't had in a while mm -hmm. that I'm gonna share and um. Well, I had told these guys early on that it was probably, I, I don't got more than a, a, more recipes and I did so many different things. I don't forgot what I used to like, but, and this that, that was a prime example, but took bringing that back to my memory. Okay, guys. Well, people, I, people used to say sometimes, say, I don't forgot more than you ever know. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I used well, to tell Brittany that when she be talking about cooking. Okay, guys, you see what it looked like? When I took, was talking, I mixed it all up. Just mixed all your ingredients up in it. And I brought my baking dish over here, and I got it sprayed with some cooking spray. And then I'm going to show you what how I make up the, uh, you just make your uh, poking pans, just like you would do meatballs. Guys, I'm going to make up a few, and then I'm going to go off. And finish making the rest because I don't want to hold you on. It's just as simple and easy as that. But I think uh, once you try these, you're going to do just like we used to do. Just eat them so much until you forget about it. <laughs> forget about them. And you can make the size. The size and stuff vary. But my mama used to always have them by. And uh, I myself used to put them just like the uh, about the size of just like a meatball. And they are so good. You guys, let me know if you ever had poking pan. And I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure that um, she probably found the recipe somewhere. I don't know. I've, I've learned since I've been doing these videos a lot of things that we had. I ring my mama just kind of made it up. Even when I be looking in recipe books and stuff. I never really see, because I don't think it was really that many recipe books and stuff back at that time. Those older cooks created a lot of this stuff. At least they created the foundation for cooking that helped people create a lot of these recipes and stuff that they do. And now uh, you can use more ground beef, just increase your seasoning on it. And, uh, and it's just as simple as that. I mean, when we first got married, we used to make these things all the time. I asked Took, I said, what made you think of those? I said, because I hadn't thought many else about it. But I bet you if my, if my mom was still living, we would have. It's another recipe I used to fix for my mom. It was a recipe, a casserole that I came up with. And she loved it so. And she didn't really like the way I fixed it. And um, I really hadn't shared that because I would, you know, when I used to, when I would fix it, because Brittany used to like this recipe, but, and she 
would ask me, Mama, fix the, uh, this particular dish. You know, you guys are learning I me. Mean, you can't say nothing out on this on YouTube because somebody grab it and take it away from me. And, um, and, uh, I did it and this seemed, and this looked like I cried the whole while I was making it. It hit me so hard. But that was, you know, not too long after my mother had passed. And then I said, whew, I don't think I can do that to myself right now. And now I just about done forgot how to make it up. My mother been dead over 20 something years, right? Okay, guys. I'm just going to you see how they, what they look like? This is the way you line them up. Can you can they see it too? Mm-hmm. You see it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna hold you on the whole while I'm wrapping or doing this. I'm going off and I'll finish I'm gonna go off and finish making up the meatballs. And then I'm going to, and when I come back, I'll show you the next step, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Uh, I got the pork and pies uh, rolled out, made out, and to do maybe about a one inch or better size meatball. And, um, and now this is where your tomato soup come in. Now guys, I kind of have made this in recipe my own because I don't recall my mama really. She wasn't a, she wasn't very big on bell pepper. I know the onions and stuff was in it. But I start adding a little bell pepper over the years. So if you want to eliminate the bell pepper, you can. And then you just take this uh, tomato sauce and you spread it all on the top of it. Tomato soup? Yeah, tomato soup. And that's another thing too. At least you, some, I have made it where I put, uh, I, I, I used to be real when I was younger. I used to be real good at making dishes in my home. Especially if I didn't have all the ingredients that I need. Something I used to take some tomato sauce and a can of just uh, chopped tomatoes and make it like that. Put a little water in there, I just can't hit it. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it with the next one. I brought some other little seasoning up here. You chokes, uh, you don't have to use those, but I just like that no salt seasoning because it adds so much extra flavor to your dishes. And just in case I don't be got enough salt in, in the dish, that'll make up, still make it good. Push all this stuff out here and just spray it out. I don't know what I'm doing. Just drop the water in there. And that's all you do, guys. Just get that tomato soup, spread it all over. And get ready to put them in the oven. And if you haven't had, and I make sure you leave me a comment if you've had pumpkin pines and stuff before. And they are so good. You know why I hadn't shared them before now? I really not, like I said, I hadn't thought of them. But I think what kind of got me thrown off. Some of you guys kept telling me I wish I would make a cookbook and I was reserving some of the recipes that uh, I hadn't just like been seen all over the YouTube thing and then I, I just contributed them to something that I created myself or my mama or I got it from somebody that made it. Because I got one uh, video up where uh, I did kind of create that recipe myself. 
Let's just wrap this up. And then just go over and just sprinkle you some parsley over the top of it. And you probably and sprinkle, I sprinkle some of this in low salt seasoning over it. That was the, uh, I don't know which one that was. Oh, I don't think I use this with This was the vegetables. Oh yeah, I love this. I like putting that in all my vegetables, like uh, snap beans and garden peas and everything. And guys, that's it. Close your poking pine. And if you try this in, make sure you leave me a comment on how, the, how you like them. And it's all this ground beef, rice, with onion, that mixture and stuff. And that combination is what makes it so good. Serve it with you some mashed potatoes, any type of vegetable you want, and you'll have you a delicious meal. Okay, guys, I'm going to get my foil and cover the dish and uh, put it in the oven for, uh, I'm going to do it for 80, I got it up here, 80 minutes just to make sure that that rice gets done. That, was, that rice and onion and stuff get done in there. Did you see this? Yes. Okay. Okay, guys, I'll be right back when the big dish is finished. I'll be back when the poking pies are ready. Be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, okay, guys, this is the finished product of the poking pan. I call it the old fashioned poking pan. It just out the oven, it's still real hot. You could take the foil off, guys, maybe about the last uh, five or ten minutes if you like. You don't have to. If you're not missed, not taking it off, it's no big deal. It's a simple dish, but you can't beat it. It's absolutely delicious. So let me come over and show you what they look like on the inside. Turn the picture two up. I think I serve you guys two. <laughs> And you can just get your little that tomato sauce out in there and put it on there. And the rice should be done on the inside. If it's not done on the inside, you didn't cook it long enough. And that's what the poking pies. Can you see? Okay. That's what the poking pie look like on the inside, guys. You can't beat it. And uh, when you try this, thank me for it. Okay, guys. That's all I can show you on the poking pies. So, uh, got a mess right here. I don't want to get it on that cloth. Hmm, I don't want to get no on that dish. But, uh, hold on a minute. So, guys, you know the spiel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, ooh, this is hot. I'll leave this alone in a minute as soon as it burns out. Good at getting burned. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you do so. Share out my videos. Leave me a thumbs up. Uh, and watch my commercial, guys. I mean, watch the advertisers ads that's on the videos. I told you that's the way the YouTube YouTubers uh, uh, get their revenue. And uh, it's a lot of work we put into this stuff, guys. And uh, don't forget to the ones that haven't already went over and subscribe to my daughter's channel, which is Britt Simone, uh, B-R-I-T-T-S-Y-M-O-N-E. She would appreciate it. She's trying to get started. And I would appreciate it if you guys help, uh, um, help her out. You know, it, ain't, it don't cost nothing to subscribe. So guys, let me, uh, you know, leave me a comment if you ever had the poking pine before. Now, if you ones of, the ones of you have had this, you know it is an absolutely delicious dish. I cannot believe that I haven't shared it with you guys already. So, uh, uh, let's pray for the ones that's uh, going through tragic things now, like the, the uh the stuff that happened down in Florida with the condominiums and stuff. 
just caved in. I still haven't found out what happened with that. And they look like some nice expensive buildings and stuff. And uh, you know, it just looked like a nice place. But to see all those people this place and then they, the ones hadn't found the bodies and stuff, they hadn't found all the body that's in the rubbish. It was just, it was just so sad, guys. And it make you think about how, th how, how blessed you is. And just got to be thankful that things are as well as it is, because it definitely could be worse. So uh, and also this, the ten children that was killed in an accident on I-65. Oh yeah, it's one of my, mm -hmm. yeah, one of my subscribers, um, Miss Charlotte. Act was, you know, she called and see was we. I mean, not call. She emailed and see was we doing okay and everything. And um, she said that she had heard about this horrible wreck that was on this highway that we travels a lot. The family members travels a lot, and uh. Then uh, I got to hearing about it. Uh, Gary's aunt called and told me about it because it was close up around their way. And then uh, I told Britt about it. And then she had asked around and they, we got what happened. It was, um, I know it was, I think it was a, it was multiple cars pile up. And then it was like, I think 10, if we haven't any more passed, 10 um, special need children that was, on the, you know, some type of trip. I don't know what it was. But anyway, it was heavy rains, which we've been having down this way. And uh, somehow or another, the uh, a vehicle hydroplane and caused that big pile up. So keep people like that in your prayers, guys, because we got so much to be thankful. And you know, uh, and we doing as well as we is because of God's grace and mercy. It ain't nothing, it ain't no miracle. You don't have to worry about it, especially the way this world lives today. The evilness and stuff that goes on in this world so easily people don't think seconds about it. What used to be wrong and still wrong because you know God's word is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So you got people just being evil in all kind of ways. And because uh, I experienced it on this YouTube channel, just people coming in just to leave nasty comments because it because they can. And you know they got this thing now. It's my opinion, but I tell you what. You let not say to fool you with this in my opinion. If you read your scripture, you should know you got to guide that tongue and your thoughts and stuff on them comments. But see, all I'm going to do is uh, delete you. Because I don't even want my subscribers to experience some of the unnecessary nasty talk. I really don't appreciate you coming to it. Don't want your views. I don't want no part of it. I know some YouTubers say that's a, a thumbs down or coming. Uh, no, I don't want that. If it take that for me to be on here, I'm out of it. So I just want you to know when you come to my channel and leave a, not, a nasty comment, you is not appreciated. And I will not spend my time even um, saying anything back to you. I just... Uh, Delete you, block you, whatever I can do. And uh, sometimes I believe YouTube sitting, be sending those people and stuff over there when they see everything's going well. And I have my, I have a, a young viewers like my uh, Destiny and uh, Blake and then my granddaughters watch that. And they experience enough of this negativity out here in the world, in the school and stuff without them having to experience that when they find a YouTube channel that they like. And they're not doing anything but cooking. And uh, yeah, they got to come over and tell you what to eat and all. And some of them people that saying they don't, they don't eat this and you're not supposed to eat it. They probably do so. Uh, one hundred more things that is harmful to the body. So um, like I say, y'all, y'all can take a hike with that stuff. If the end one of y'all happen, and you know I'm not talking to my regulars, you guys know I'm not talking that because we just have a beautiful spirit and thing going on over there, over here. But you know the devil got to get in things and uh. I'm going to run him out and I'm going to stump him out with it, with it whichever, which, whichever way I can. And um, I didn't mean to go into that, but I should have went into it. Sometimes I just need to uh, just have a whole video talking to my subscriber that I have grown to care a lot about, uh, a lot about them over sour space. I mean, I got some, you know, I, I try to answer all you, e the ones of you send me emails and comments and stuff, but it's just a few that I have connected and we, and we talk through email and stuff like that. And it's just like, I thank God for them. 
I thank God for them. Over this cyberspace, I connected with good people because God knows that my spirit was getting to be down about the people that was around so much evilness and trying to teach hate and stuff like that. And I grew up back in the, uh, born in the 50s and grew up back in the 60s. We did not. And ain't no Hollywood people going to tell me what we experienced. Some of this stuff taught, and our parents definitely did not teach us hate towards no, no one. Then even we we weren't even concerned, and then a lot of this stuff we didn't know about it until we got older. And Hollywood's got up and started trying to. Uh, we knew about it, but it was just it was just not a part of our life. And they trying to make it a part of you of the young people's lives, which is so wrong. So I'm not gonna get into that, guys. One day um, I may speak on it, but usually what I do, I speak through emails with a. Uh, about you know how I feel and the people can just see my spirit and feel my spirit through these through my videos and know that I you know I want to see my heavenly father face and I know you're not going to see it with hate in your heart hate towards your fellow man your brotherness and stuff and I will not how about that uh, Hollywood so um guys let me get on off of here and uh like I say uh like share and subscribe. Remember to use your common sense. Think positive, and they may love you guys. Bye. Hey, before we close, brother, I'd like to for our Saba family to lift up the Tucker family in prayer. We have uh, been seemingly being experienced this year a lot more sickness and death camping around our family area. We just want you to to lift the T Tucker family tree up, and those that are related to the Tuckers. The, Pounces, the Blairs, the Fosters, and uh, anyone else that I, and then those that have you married tell about and your uncle? offspring of that. Tell them uh, about our uncle that we just. Yes, yeah, so we just uh, uh, finalized our, our uncle this past week, and uh, we just got another uh, message from the uh, Tucker family uh, uh, reunion committee, that, which is part of we we are the Tucker's uh, group on YouTube on our uh, Facebook. Uh, of death that just continually to uh, to invade our ranks of, of the Tuckers and we just lift them all up in prayer and just let you know that we are thinking of you and just continue to lean on God for your strength and your understanding because uh, without him uh, we can do nothing. So guys until, until the next time have a blessed day and as May May says she loves you and so do I. Bye, Bye you guys. guys.